Okay, what is the higher self? This is a fun topic. And we can really go down a rabbit hole with this, but I'm going to try to keep it to the basics as best I can. So what if you could send a message back in time to your younger self, giving yourself information in order to improve your life in the future? What if you were the younger self? That's what the higher self is. In short, the higher self is you after you've already achieved enlightenment or at least gotten most of the way there. As always, I've put my sources in the description below so you can verify what I'm saying. You can do your own research and you can make up your own mind. So the specifics of this come primarily from the Ra contact teaching the law of one. And it's been, to my satisfaction, confirmed in a few other books as well. So the basic idea is we evolve in stages. When we're done with this lifetime, yes, we have potential reincarnations to go through, but once we're done with all those, we move on to the next level. And when we're done with that, we move on to the next level above that. And apparently there are seven of these, seven levels before we return home. Now you may refer to these different levels of existence as different dimensions. The law of one refers to them as densities. So we're currently in the third density. And this particular existence is the one where we forget what we are. So in the next one, we will be living a life fully conscious of the fact that we are connected beings, that we are one being, we are one mind, which sounds pretty exciting. So when we advance far enough, once we get to the seventh, which is the last one, our purpose largely involves going back in time as we perceive it, back in time to help our younger selves, our less evolved selves. How do we do this? Because time, the way we understand it, isn't real. Time isn't linear the way we perceive it. That's part of the illusion. Time is a single point, just as space is a single point. So really this is Quite a comforting thought, I feel. Anytime you struggle with a situation, worry about the outcome, just think you've already done it. And you've got your own personal, let's call them a guardian angel, sending themselves back in time to help you out. Because you didn't come here to make the choice. You've already made it. You're here to try to understand why you made it. Now we can use the higher self consciously. They're not a passive guide. We can ask for help. More so lately, I've been asking my higher self for help, guidance, and I've been trusting them. And I tell you what, <laughs> things happen. Even just something as simple as getting ideas. So let's say I want to write a song. I want to write a song for a specific project, a specific band. And it's something that I don't feel particularly confident with. It's maybe not a, a genre or style that I'm really comfortable with. Well, I just ask my higher self to help me and I trust that they will when the time is right. So I'm not sitting there stressing, oh, how do I write this thing? I'm going, all right, higher self, I have a name for mine, but we don't need to go into that. I go, higher self, help me to write this song. 
or help me to do some good solid work towards this band or whatever whatever I'm working on and then I'll forget about it and pretty quickly I would say within the hour consistently and quite often much quicker than that I will get the idea now maybe you could argue that it's just because I've stopped worrying about it I've stopped thinking about it maybe does it matter? <laughs> even if, even if we say uh, the higher self doesn't exist, higher self is, uh, you're just treating it as a, as a tool. Cool. I'm happy with that. I believe it works. When you're meditating, or even if you're not a meditator, just day to day walking around, if you need help with a situation, you need to make a decision or you need to behave in a certain way, you need to do something that you're not comfortable with, you're not confident with, ask for help. As always, take what resonates, discard the rest.